I want to tell you about a very close personal friend of mine, somebody who grew up a little bit differently than I did. There we go. A friend of mine, see, when I, growing up in Alabama with two pastors for parents, I had a drug problem where I was drugged to church every time the doors were unlocked. Anybody in the house have that kind of drug problem? Anybody but me? Sunday, Sunday night, Wednesday, Thursday for some reason. Saturday, bring clothes and spend the night because we're going on Sunday. Run it back. But my friend grew up differently than I did. My friend grew up not going to church, not even professing to be a Christian at all, and yet she had the same God-shaped hole in her heart that we have. So she tried to fill that hole with academic success or athletic achievement. She was searching for acceptance, and that search for acceptance led her to the bottom of a bottle of alcohol for the first time. That bottle quickly led to another and another and another. So she thought, this isn't normal. This isn't how people do. Maybe it's not me, though, still, right? Maybe, maybe if I go somewhere new, then I can be something new. And so again, as she searches, she packs up, she leaves her home, she goes to a completely new place. And not two weeks into that new place, a bottle of alcohol put my friend in the back of an ambulance fighting for her life. And so when she recovered, as she drove home from the hospital, she just cried out and I think the most beautiful way I think somebody can. She just said, God, if you're real, I need you. And I'm so thankful to be at the Jay County Fair singing praise to the God that answered that cry. The one true living God who filled that car with his presence and his love and his kindness and overwhelmed my friend. She was crying so hard she had to pull her car to the side of the road. She didn't really know what to call it. You know, she didn't speak Christianese, um, but she knew what had happened to her. I believe our Bible says that the old had gone and the new had come. That was July 16th, 2018. My friend gave her life to the I'm not going to say it again because every time I say it, the power switches. But you've heard the date. Memorize it. I did. You'll be quizzed on this later. The date that changes the power changed my life forever. Let me tell you why. That is the day that my friend, her name is now Emily Kane. She is now my wife. She is now four years sober. She's sitting right there in a yellow t-shirt. Somewhere behind me is the prettiest baby girl I've ever seen. So if you need proof tonight at Jake County that our God is still in the redemption business, oh, let me and my little family be the proof tonight. Woo! Oh, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Woo! Woo! Now, nobody say the word July. <laughs> And I'm going to sing you the song that I wrote about that story. Y'all ready, boys? 